Hello and welcome to this week's edition of The Filter. Remember the articles I'm going to talk about in this video or podcast, depending on how you're absorbing this, aren't linked to in the show notes. To get the links, you need to subscribe to The Filter, which you can do by going here, yeseo.io forward slash The Filter. Understood? Ready? Let's crack on. It's a bit cold in the office here, so I'm going to do this a little bit faster than I normally do. Right, first of all, there's a really important thing I need to explain to you this week. Both Google and Yahoo have explained that if they don't see DMARC records in your DNS, um, then they're going to probably start just putting all your mail in spam. Now, this is sound. This is one of those uh, warnings that sounds really grave. Um, and it is, especially if you've got a Shopify site. Shopify taking this really seriously, which is a really good thing, but it's a good thing in the one of those, this is a real pain in the bum kind of good good things. If you don't update your DNS for your domain to show your DMARC records, then Shopify will stop sending the emails from your store from your domain, so shop at yeseo.io, and they'll change it to a fairly random Shopify address. So this is particularly important if you're a Shopify customer. But also if you're using MailChimp or anything that sends out a lot of mail that hasn't come from your computer, hasn't come from your laptop, you need to know what DMARC is. In fact, I think it's one of those things that regardless of whether you've got an, e an online store or a large email marketing plan, you probably need DMARC records. I've put some links in that hopefully make it really easy to understand. Second one, I'm going to post another beginners type blog because I think SEMrush is on a bit of a purple patch with these at the moment. They've written a really good article about what CRO is. And as a part of my promise to all my clients, and to be fair, anyone who comes to the website, I try not to use acronyms. So CRO is conversion rate optimization. This is one of these things we get really excited about. Think about it this way. If you have a thousand people a month, coming to a page on your website and 25 of those people buy something you have a conversion rate of 25 percent conversion rate optimization is about getting that 100 more of those 100 people to buy something if 25 people are buying something at the moment what can you do to make that 50 or 60 people per 100 that would be an incredible conversion rate but in short, that's what CRO is. Read the SEMrush article. It's it's really smart. I really like it. Finally, number three, I've chucked this article in about zero volume keywords. Now, it's not actually about zero volume. The volume, when we're talking about keywords, is how many people are under searching for something. So, for example, uh, last time I looked, uh, something like 1,100 people a month in the UK search for chili sauce. 800 people a month in the UK search for hot sauce. So that's search volumes. Now, with keyword research and SEO, we're often aiming for the keywords that a lot of people are searching for, but that not all your competitors are targeting, I'm trying to find that kind of gap, the path of least resistance. But we do also target keywords that have a very low search volume, sometimes zero. But it's another good article. It's one that's worth reading. If you're trying to wrap your head around how to how to choose which keywords to target, have a read of this article. I think you'll find it useful. And finally, the meme. There you go. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful to you. If you'd like to make any comments on the content, then please do. We want to know what works for you. Where are we pitching the, the stuff? Is it all too highbrow? Is it too basic? Or is it just right? Just reply to the email and let me know. Thanks for watching. Let's get on with January.